Hello! <laughs> Pink Crazy Mess here. Um, I just want to say hi and good night and all that stuff. I'm still, I'm just eating my dinner in bed. <laughs> the boys have all left me uh, to go have fun. But I uh, kind of have a little bit of a migraine today. And okay, okay, not a little bit, a lot. Oops, I just dropped my yogurt. Um, and um, see that thing back there? My grandma made that. My grandma from Sicily made that. Okay, anyway. So, um, I'm having a Sjogren's flare. God, why was I so close? I, I, was, I looked away and I was like this. <laughs> why was I so close? I'm having a Sjogren's flare. Uh, it's uh, my autoimmune. I read this, um, I saw this bit post on YouTube today. It was really cool how to, no, I'm not wearing any makeup either today. Um, it was how to tell your child what an autoimmune disease is. So and it was really cool. It was, it's from a group that I subscribed to, um, the, uh, um, uh, unrechargeables or something I, I used to be on their podcast and unchargeables that's it because uh, you can't recharge like a battery duh get it but she was saying that she was telling her daughter like it like this so in a simple way autoimmune it's like everybody has and this is um her from her that she got off the internet not my own story that I came up with but she um she said everybody has superheroes in their bodies. Everybody has superheroes. And when you get sick, the superheroes fight the bad guys in a normal person. They, they fight them, you know. That's when you feel sick and you kind of feel like you have the flu or you're down. And when superheroes win, that's when you get better and you... You know, boom, everybody goes back to normal and superheroes go back to their bat cave or the Hall of Justice. Um, or if you're in, a, in, in, that's DC, you know, if you're Marvel, I don't know where they would all go onto that ship, probably. I don't know. But um, they go wherever, you know. But with autoimmune... The thing is, when you get sick or anything happens, even stress can cause stress like this or my hand or like what happened yesterday at the doctor. And that's why I think brought it on. All of a sudden, your superheroes go, um, Wonder Twins action unite, you know, <laughs> and they all get up and they start fighting. But the problem is they don't know. They get confused. They're confused superheroes. They start fighting each other. They're so confused that they don't know where they, they don't understand that the that the sick problem is over here or up here in the head or or you know in your anywhere else in your body, you may be sick, you know. Or, um since the superheroes are fighting each other, no one's gonna win. And that's why you end up being tired all the time. And the, it's not a tired, it's fatigue. It is absolute. And I know some, a lot of my friends that have autoimmune, it is fatigue. You can sleep 12, 14 hours, 18 hours a day, and you'll still be tired. It's that kind of a tired where you have zero energy. But I thought that was kind of a cool way to explain it, like to a younger person or someone who really does. It's like, what a, what's an autoimmune disease? I, I, I started telling my 16-year-old today that story. And he goes, Mom, I'm in AP biology. We already know. We already, I already learned all about the immune system and autoimmune and all that. So, I already know about that. Plus, you've told me a million times. So... <laughs> It's like, oh, my precious angel. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, I, I'm not going to stay on because, I, like I said, I don't feel good. And, um, by the way, when I was puppy sitting, I don't tell you, I was on Hulu 
because I always watch Hulu Plus at my house. I have no commercial Hulu, but she, has, my my daughter in law, has commercial Hulu. But I, I've I've watched so many shows, and ben, I'm a binger. I'm a binge watcher. I will watch seasons. Oh my gosh, every episode like ten episodes in a night. But um, I found this show called Hot Housewives of Orlando. And I'm a house, okay, I'm a Housewives fan. I'm a Housewives fan. I'm a super fan. I'm a Bravo super fan. My husband hates Bravo. Oh, my God. But I'm a Bravo super fan. And I love Beverly Housewives of Beverly Hills, New Jersey, New York, Atlanta, Orange County. New, uh, did I miss anybody? Um, I did like uh, Dallas. I like I liked Miami, but I don't know why they didn't run into them. But um, anyway, so... <laughs> So they change, you know, people sometimes. It's supposed to be reality, but you know darn well some of it's scripted. It's just to get, you know, get reactions and stuff. Come on, Real Housewives. So anyway, this is a parody of the of the Real Housewives shows, and they like pick certain people that really stand out, you know, as like super weird, not weird, but super. Um, elaborate, you know, or super uh, extreme in their beliefs and stuff. So they they parodied it, and I'm I'm gonna watch some of that. I'm gonna try to anyway. Uh, some more tonight, but it's funny though. But it's it's not for kids. They they do say it's pretty raunchy. Um, it's pretty raunchy. So ah, thanks for listening. I'll talk to you guys soon. I did make videos. Burp. Excuse me, I made videos of me opening my fat, fab fit fun box today, and I went to the acupuncturist today, my acupuncturist. And I don't even want to look at my back because it's, it's got all these scrapes and <laughs> all over them. I'm supposed to take it. I'm supposed to soak tonight I just, I, in my tub, and I just can't. I just don't have the strength. <sighs> there I was again. <sighs> I almost fell asleep. I will um, talk to you later. Bye, everybody.